Well, the first axe has fallen and it's not on our head coach, the Jets have decided to fire defensive coordinator Greg Williams. Welcome to Jets Talk. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Guys, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock tonight, I will be live on Jets Media's channel. And then 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock tonight, I will be live on my channel, Michael Nania. So if you want to hear some of our perspective on everything that happened this past weekend, don't forget to tune into that. And then tomorrow, 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, we'll have our Talking Jets panel with me, Green Bean, and O'Leary. So make sure you tune into that as well. But let's talk about today's topic of the day. The Jets have fired defensive coordinator Greg Williams. The Jets decide to move on from Greg Williams just one day after having an absolute debacle on the last play of the game uh, against the Raiders. So I get it. I understand people are upset. People are ecstatic. The fans <laughs> are ecstatic, but the players are upset. Marcus May calls out uh, Greg Williams and, and the play call. And, it, you know, when you're sending all eight guys or seven guys, or whatever they sent on that last play, and then you have rookie and young, inexperienced corners going against guys one-on-one, -on -one, especially against Henry Ruggs with no safety help. Like, people that fast should not be in that position. On any other Hail Mary, you're looking at defenders back on the end zone just preventing the ball from getting in. That wasn't the case. <laughs> so, obviously, this was a very tactical, maybe not tactical, but a very poor lapse in judgment if you were actually trying to win this game. Now, Greg Williams, I've enjoyed what he's done over the last two years with the defense to an extent. I think he's made lemonade out of, like, peaches. <laughs> like, I don't think we gave him a whole lot to work with, and he's done, you know, a pretty decent job overall. Uh, the defense has been anemic this year with basically everyone gone. No C.J. Mosley, no Jamal Adams, but the defensive line's looking good. So how do I feel about this? <laughs> I, I feel bad for... For the players because of how the game ended i'm happy for the fans because of how the game ended and i think a lot of people are you know sort of a little perplexed because they'd like to see adam gase gone and when you see greg williams get fired like he's an easy scapegoat for this game and i think by keeping adam gase you sort of preserve the tank because the offense has really been the, the crux of our issues the entirety of the season aside from when flacco is starting so by getting rid of greg williams Maybe that's the final piece that really helps this team, you know, possibly win a game. Who knows? Or you could look at it and say, oh, no, Adam Gase got Greg Williams fired. He's going to use him as the scapegoat. They're going to tank all season, and then they're going to get Trevor Lawrence, and then Adam Gase is coming back. We're not actually getting a new head coach. <laughs> and then you're going nuts like that. Ugh. Greg Williams, I salute you. <laughs> I'm very happy with how that game turned out. I am like legitimately over the moon, which is sort of painful because I don't want to like cheer and root against my Jets actively, but at the same time, we're not doing anything. We're not getting in the playoffs. A meaningless win right now with guys that may not be on this team. Like Sam, unfortunately, regardless of what happens these last four games, he's not going to be the he's not going to be the, the uh, quarterback moving forward. It's going to be either Fields or or Lawrence or maybe you know one of the guys that rises up in the draft. So for me, watching these games, there's no benefit from a win. I hope the Jaguars win. I would love to root for a win. But Greg Williams getting fired doesn't, uh, I don't know, doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. <laughs> Guy was going to be fired in four games anyway, so they just accelerate it by, by the four games. Guys, let me know what you think of everything down below in the comments. And as always, go Jets.